I don't know if that's a posty. Look how fat. Good morning, fishing freaks from the tree house right here. I'm back in action today, hitting the water. I don't have my adventure wagon with me. Today we're rolling in Pawpaw's adventure wagon, LFD's uh, Ford truck. He has graciously let me borrow. That actually kind of looks good with the boat, you know? A little color exchange. I'm still used to having a white truck. And that black truck looks pretty slick with the old skier behind it. We just gathered our eggs from the Rackley Roost and Steph is whipping us up some eggs right now in the kitchen. Confirmed, y'all. Male duck, thank you for your comments. Uh, I kind of had a feeling all of you have uh, been commenting that as a male duck. Yes, if you listen to his little wasp, uh, it's 100% male, so uh, I don't know. I mean, we might have to make some duck stew here. I'm sort of halfway kidding on that. Anyway, Emmy loves Ebenezer, the duck. She came up and gave it a big old hug yesterday, and I was like, dead gum it. How am I gonna get rid of this duck now? And the reason I don't really want the ducks because it causes a lot of disruptions uh, with the chickens. The chickens want to sleep with the duck. The duck doesn't roost, uh, won't go into the hen house. So it's just kind of a mess. Plus the water thing everywhere. I've got a couple of shout outs I would like to make right now at the start of this video. Uh, number one, shout out to LFD. First of all, let me borrow his truck. Second of all, caught like a seven and a half pound bass out of his kayak the other day at the lake I'm fixing to go to. That is my dad's biggest bass of the year and his PB is like eight and a half pounds. So he was, he was creeping on it. He was creeping on it. So shout out to my dad. Uh, second shout out is to my boys, especially Peric. You know, Peric and John B, they've been fishing a lot together. They FaceTimed me yesterday with a PB. Y'all, Peric caught his personal best bass uh, a nine pound this is the nine pounds eight ounces or 9.8 on the scale anyway it was a certified mondo fatty uh mcnugget you know we all wonder about Perrick sometimes but you know what he grinded on the bass game this week and he caught the bass of a lifetime so anyway you can go check it out on his channel and i just wanted to give him a correct congratulations and i think this week is going to be a really good fishing week i am really bummed my truck is down but i'm, I'm going to get out and, and do quite a bit of fishing this week so starting off today we're heading uh to my nemesis lake i'm hoping that the bass are done spawning and they're going to be up in the shallows and they're going to be munching frogs and spinner baits and all sorts of stuff it's going to be extremely windy day 25 mile an hour winds maybe a 30 <gasps> But don't worry, we're prepared. We got a big boat, we can handle it. Babe, did you see the egg that Peggy laid this morning? I did. That is a jumbo unit right there. It's huge. I mean, let's just let's just take a gander. You know, this is a big egg. This would be considered a, uh, what Extra size? Large. Extra large at the grocery store. Let's just get a little size comparison here. That was Penny? Holy cow. The one on the left is Penny and the one on the right is Peggy. Peggy coming in strong with just a, you know, certified ostrich egg. Just about, jeez. <laughs> anyway, eh, that's what we're gonna be eating this morning. Oh, that is not looking pleasant out there. This is gonna be a windy, rough day. Okay, fishing freaks. Oh, we're wet already. Today is going to be about tackling bass, going bass fishing in extreme wind. A 20 mile an hour sustain, gusting to 30. How are we going to approach this? Well, it ain't throwing your weightless soft plastics, I can tell you that. It was a nasty launch. My boat got, got soaked. It was not something I needed to stop and film. I just needed to get it done. Bilge pumps were already kicking on at the ramp because the waves were just crashing over the back. Spinnerbait, 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 spinnerbait. So I've got a half ounce zinger tied on right now. That's gonna be my main weapon of choice today. I've made a little skirt modification on that so it can stand out a little bit. Uh, it's kind of like a, you know, a shad color, but it's got a little sexy blue in there and some chartreuse. So I'm gonna be looking at some of these calmer pockets. The main lake is just absolutely getting thrashed, but that's gonna be our goal. That's, that's really all we can do today. This is not a day that you can just, <laughs> Do whatever you want to. You're kind of restricted to the conditions, but you can still make a day out of it anywhere you are. I don't care if it's a pond, 
you know, little lake, big lake. You can always fish in the wind. You just gotta be practical about where you go and what you were throwing. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the wind noise that's gonna be happening today. Uh, but you can just look at the electronics here. You see a fish there, all, all this uh, broken up stuff that's shad. Gonna be making a just absolute ton of casts here today. I already feel that grass on there. It's actually catching on the blades. Seventy degree water. Let's get it going. Okay, about four foot right here. We've got an island, which islands I would say are better in the post spawn than in the uh, pre spawn. I like points a little better in the pre spawn, but fish seem to hold on the islands a little bit better in the post spawn. They're more apt to get around some, you know, deeper, more wavy water, which is definitely what we've got with the old uh, 20 mile an hour gale force out here today. So I'm setting my boat up to where my bait is going to be hitting this uh, brush and grass line. I'm trying to keep my bait in that, that strike zone as much as possible. And I'm just putting my back to the wind and just letting this thing fling out there. Looks like we've got some bait. Got some bait in the region here. Oh, I just saw a white bass chasing my daggone spinner bait. Sorry, got a little excited with the, the song there. I love my white bass. The last time I was out here, I caught a limit and I was really excited. But uh, we're going after the largemouth today. Because this is one lake in the state where you can you can catch a double digit. The well, you can catch a double digit out of any lake, but the the percentage chances are definitely higher on this lake. You know, there's about 10 lakes in the state that you've got a real shot. This is one of them. When I drove over the dam this morning, they were really pulling some water. So that will sometimes prevent the fish from really sticking in the shallows they'll stay on that first little drop you know out here that's like five eight foot something like that there's fish got him got him don't know what it was kind of looked like a white bass but it sure was a sure was a fish two spots no success so far my nemesis lake that I can never figure out y'all but I'm not giving up so I just fished some shallow grass around an island at the mouth of a big creek. Uh, I'm gonna go mid creek. I'm gonna stick with that shallow grass spinnerbait plan for a little bit and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna find a spot amongst these trees that are out here and I'm gonna get that worm game going. I don't wanna have to do that, but we got you know frontal conditions, heavy winds. I wanna get on that spinnerbait bite, believe me. Fling that thing out there, get that little blade going. Bam, boom! Hopefully get hooked up. Hiya! Sorry, y'all, my GoPro quit working on me. Wasn't turning on for some reason, but. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to find some shade back there. This one has got a story to tell. I don't know if that's a posty. Look how fat. That looks like a pre. It's got some uh, interesting bloody marks here on the on the pectoral fins, or just below the pectoral fins there. But uh, that fish is fattened up, no bloody tail. 71 degree water. Okay, buddy, we'll let you go. That tree that's sitting right behind the boat, I ran that spinnerbait by it and just Plow. I am pretty much all the way in the back of a creek right now. I started at the mouth and then I've just worked my way slowly, but not right there. So I'm gonna stop for a second and really analyze these trees. Maybe do a little, yeah, I can't really flip. It's so windy, but I'm gonna fish the heck out of these trees in the back of this creek. See if we can get some, some more fatties. I mean, that is, that's unusual to catch one like that right now uh, with 71 degree water. So there could be another wave of spawners moving up in here, full moon coming up uh, here in the next few days. So I'm gonna keep spinning around, get this GoPro working again, get back in the game.
There we go. Right off that tree. Another spinnerbait fish. Get on, Bone. Eat him up here. Spotted bass and a gosh dang good one. Daggum, that's my biggest spotted bass out of here. 100%. Nice fish right there, y'all. Really nice spotted bass. Okay, we'll let that one go. Second one on the zinger. Got a little island here with uh, a deep drop off next to it. It's got grass, it's got trees. Ooh, I just saw bait fish jump right there. So we got bait in the area. Every time I, I mark a fish, they're just suspended. So I keep picking up a trench hog and a mondo worm, but I just don't know if they're gonna get on that if they're really suspended like that. So keep working the old spinner bait around here. Oh my gosh! Freaking big one just ate it. Oh my gosh, that was like a four pounder. Just came up and ate it behind that tree, but it didn't didn't totally grab it. Man, that was the one I'm looking for. Extremely dangerous move right here, 10 pound test. But we'll never know if we don't try. Well, y'all, I thought it was going down right there. That was going to be my big one. The only thing they're really responding to is the spinner bait. Come on, baby, get up out of there. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gosh dang, I worked so hard for this fish. Come here, you. Come here, you. Nice one. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought that fish was 19 pounds <laughs> with anticipation. Holy cow. Texas Street Trench Hog. Got him good with that hammer hook right there. They almost never come off. Let me get them right like that. Holy cow. Something besides the spinner bait. I've been on that extreme grind today, y'all. You know it's windy when the fish is fins are flapping in the wind <sighs> pulled up to a little point right behind me submerged point and i met the depth where the fish were suspending and i just got this fish on that trench hog it was i mean it took it and it just sat there it took me a second to figure it out but you know what i got him i got him and i'm gonna give it a big old snifferoo Looks a little beat up from the spawn, a couple of sores, but still mega fat, really good fish. Nice three pound fish. Thought you were a giant, but gosh, I needed you today. I needed you. Yeah. Y'all are with me for a lot of journeys. Man, I've this has been one of the hardest grinding spring days uh, I've had. This lake just absolutely rips me a new one every time and every fish counts and you know what one fish out here the right fish can be an absolute game changer that one was not 
I'll say. But I thought it, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a mega toad. So first bite on the trench hog, first bite on the Texas rig. I think I'm gonna try that for a little bit longer and see if there's a few more fish uh, sitting on these trees behind me. It's in like four or five foot and uh, the boat's just kind of sitting in seven. So fishing it real slow and they are super tight to cover uh, on the spinner bait. On every time I've seen them on the electronics, they are just glued to the cover and it's just it's not good conditions right now. It's um, a front came through last night and we've got sun and, and wind and you could see where those bass are just, they're just sitting on these trees, even out in like deeper water, they're suspended in like five to eight feet of water. And some of them might be uh, big females waiting to move up for the next full moon to spawn. Um, but I just think a lot of them, they're not eating. They're just sitting there. See if I can get another one going. Uh, Okeechobee Craw was the color on that trench hog, and I'm fishing a five aught, uh, five aught hammer hook right here. Uh, this is what I use on the mondo worms and the trench hogs. It's it's the perfect size, and um, if you've never seen me rig it up, I'll show you. It's it's really like a hybrid hook that uh, once you start using them, you'll use them for flipping and uh, your worms and a lot of stuff. So it's got a pretty good wide gap on it. So I'll show you how to do that. We'll try to catch another one. Okay. Get out another trenchy here. The full size. I like bigger plastics in the post spawn. So Mondo worms, trench hogs, uh, the bigger stuff. Because they're hungry. They're hungry. So we're going to separate the appendages. Always do that so you get max action. I recommend fishing a, a trench hog and a mondo worm. You know, three eighths ounce weight. This is a tungsten weight. I've got a bobber stop on it. If you're going to be, um, you know, trying to fish it five foot or deeper, because it has a lot of action, a lot of appendages, and slows the bait down quite a bit. So you take this hammer hook, you go through the head, come out just like you would. Do your do your turn. And on a round big round bin hook you would just put it in the plastic just like that just straight but what you do with this this hook is you come straight up through the top the spine of the bait and then that hook is just going to sit right there and uh, this bait in particular has uh, ribs on it little ridges and you just take your hook point and go right into that ridge and that's called text posing when the bass grabs it that'll come out but uh, it's not it doesn't have that real wide gap. I've always had trouble hooking up on uh, You know EWG hooks and with uh, round bin hooks Which I use a lot um, Sometimes you just don't get a good hook set because you got to go all the way through the plastic So this is kind of the best of both worlds Come on now There's one. Oh God, he had it. Definitely picked up on it. He was there. Okay, folks, just flipped a tree line. Five foot of water, 30 minutes. No more bites. That is all I have in me today. I gotta go home. I gotta get ready for another trip coming up. The only thing I've eaten today is are those delicious eggs that OSG made me this morning, but it has just been a straight up meat grinder out here. I swear, Slick hates me. It gives me little glimmers of hope, and then it just takes me down. So I ended up with three fish today. The biggest fish I saw that bit my spinnerbait was like four or five pounds, but just never could pop that big one. Gearing up to go to the one and only Lake Fork tomorrow so my truck is still not ready I'm gonna take LFD's rig and I'm gonna head over there I'm gonna do a couple days uh, fishing for crappie and bass it should be good but if it is a grind which for can be a grind I am certainly gonna be prepared after fishing here today thank you guys for being with me on all these videos God bless your fishing freak souls and I will see you soon on the famous Lake Fork Thank you.